coming to you today talking about carbohydrates and kind of how to fuel those in your body, not necessarily from a nutritional perspective, a dietetics perspective, whole food, but how personally I've incorporated carbohydrates into my training. So trying to focus on two to 300 grams of carbohydrates um, in a four hour window, which would, can be considered somewhat like carb cycling, uh, depending on when your training is and so on. But to just dumb it down and make it very simple, using carbohydrates and whatever grams you wanna use them in for your training, for fuel, uh, can be very, very beneficial. Um, carbs aren't necessarily gonna just put a bunch of weight on you. For example, Carbomax, Vitargo, these are four, uh, four or five different supplements that we carry that, have, that are carbohydrate based. So the multidextrin specifically. So I utilize this or the Vitargo or a combination of the two during my training. Um, getting 100 grams of carbohydrates intra-training, but both have zero sugar. So having a carbohydrate does not mean you're, you're taking in sugar depending on the source. We made a good point of saying, you know, but not- Doesn't that make you fat though? Like, doesn't it make you keep burn through the carb, what's the common misconception? Though? So not all carbs are created equal, right? So ver a donut versus a fruit versus a vegetable versus Carbomax, multidextrin, are all, are all different sources and have different sugar amounts. So uh, we use carbohydrates as fuel um, by implementing those into our workout pre, during, and post. Our training should be through the roof less to little, little to no fatigue, um, probably don't need nearly as much caffeine or supplements to kind of give you that energy. Um, so it's kind of balancing that out. So you're combating adrenal fatigue, you're, con you're combating uh, the increase of cortisol, which is a fat, which causes us to retain body fat. Uh, what's that? I didn't know that, that's cool. Which causes us to retain body fat. So inherently by putting carbs pre, during, and post or timing those out around our training, we don't need as much upper or fuel, which would be caffeine. So, so you're saying instead of just living on a diet of chicken and broccoli, which that could be detrimental if I can learn to use carbs in a way that... Yeah, th this little segment is to say, utilizing carbs from an education per educated perspective around your training, one doesn't get you fat, two won't make you gain weight, and three is gonna give you fuel. These are examples of those all different sources from UCAN to Glycosin, Vitargo, Carbomax, and then ARM has a bunch of carbs in it as well for post-workout. Utilizing those in a timely fashion can give you increased outperformance, increased recovery, um, and be just very beneficial to your training. So, okay, so carb timing doesn't need to be scary. In ingesting carbohydrates doesn't need to make you nervous. We're all athletes, whether it's 37 and trying to do my goal to a male, female, 90 years old to 15 years old. Carbohydrates can be utilized in a timely fashion pre, during, and post-workout to give your body fuel and increase your output uh, of performance. And that's what this segment's for. So, How do you know when to time them and how much? Uh, user specific. How are you, like I'm trying to not take in a ton of carbohydrates throughout the rest of my day other than a four hour window around my training. So that 300-ish grams of carbs I'm trying to get in on a daily basis is in a four hour window and my training is gonna fit somewhere within those four hours. So break that down very simply. 100 grams pre, 100 grams during, and 100 grams post. So during, I'm having, or uh, sorry, pre, I'm having a cup and a half to two cups of white rice and some honey. That's whole food based. 30 minutes down the road, I'm gonna go work out. Then I'm gonna, during my workout, I'm gonna have some Vitargo and Carbomax, supplement carbs, because I don't wanna sit there and eat white rice while I'm squatting. Carbs here, 100, another 100 grams. Post-workout, I have a shake with maybe 30 to 40 to 50 grams of supplemental carbs, and then I'm having oats or white rice or brown rice or sweet potato, whole food. So I'm having 300 grams of carbohydrates in a four hour window with my training somewhere in that four hours. So I'm preloading them, going into training, feeling really good. I'm utilizing them during for output and I'm recovering with carbohydrates. And then everything pre and post of that four hour window, trying to keep my carbohydrates less to none. And then uh, if anyone hasn't come in, they can come in for free and get a 
Yeah. You can show people how to do that. Perfectly. So 300 grams of carbs for a 210 pound man trying to do my goals is not the same for everybody. So whatever your goal is, the point of the segment is to say that carbs can be utilized in a, uh, in a fashion to be beneficial both for uh, fueling, output, energy, strength, while still staying lean. That's really, that's really the point. But people can come down here and get, a, get all that laid out. For them. Yeah, we can definitely use the in-body. We can talk about macros. We can talk about caloric expenditure and intake and get more science behind it and make it, say, you know, make it more beneficial and specific to the person. Um, carb, protein, and fat timing. So.